the sun travels through space to the earth. What form of energy can travel through space? Can this same kind of energy be generated and used by man? Energy, like that of the sun, can be generated on Earth. Here's one way to do it. We connect a battery to a switch a current meter, and a coil of wire. When we turn the switch on, a steady electric current flows. A compass shows us that a steady electric current is surrounded by a magnetic field. Steady current, steady field. Now, suppose the current is made to pulse. On and off. A pulsing current produces a pulsing field. Now the field moves through space and can be detected at a second coil over here. Electromagnetic energy moving through space. Here, the field is moving about one time each second. We can make more pulses per second with a vacuum tube. At several thousand pulses per second, the electromagnetic energy is called radio waves. As the frequency of the pulses increases, we know the energy by different names. family of electromagnetic energy waves is called the electromagnetic spectrum. All are electromagnetic energy waves pulsing at different frequencies. Let's see how we use each group. Electromagnetic energy traveling through space is the basis of radio broadcasting. But there are many radio transmitters. can these radio waves be separated? Each station transmits a different number of pulses per second. The number of pulses per second is called the frequency.
your radio only one frequency through at a time. At 600 kilocycles on your dial, for example, your radio receives electromagnetic energy at a frequency of 600,000 pulses per second. Higher frequencies are used to transmit pictures. Still higher frequencies, called microwaves, are generated for radar. At these frequencies, electromagnetic waves will bounce from some object. Slightly higher frequencies, electromagnetic energy makes us feel warm. Any source of heat radiates infrared. We use these frequencies every day. Higher frequencies stimulate the nerves in your eyes. Electromagnetic energy we call Different frequencies appear to us as different colors. But our eyes detect only a small number of the frequencies that make up the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Like all electromagnetic energy, Light is a pulsing electromagnetic field. A photoelectric cell can measure the energy of light. In nature, the energy of light makes possible the growth of plants that give us food. At slightly higher frequencies, electromagnetic energy is called ultraviolet. It's invisible to our eyes, but we see its work as it tans our skin. The energy from an ultraviolet lamp will cause the minerals in certain rocks to glow. The minerals absorb the ultraviolet and radiate it back at lower frequencies, including visible light. This is called fluorescence. This principle is used in a fluorescent light. Inside the tube is a special coating. A source of ultraviolet energy causes this coating to fluoresce. Slightly higher frequencies, called X-rays, are generated by a special tube. X-rays pass through less dense objects, leaving shadow pictures of dense objects. Some of the highest frequencies we know 
are released when an atom nucleus splits apart. A splitting atom releases particles and electromagnetic energy called gamma rays. Uranium ore releases gamma rays, which can be detected by a Geiger counter. So we have that electromagnetic energy is known by different names according to its frequency. But all electromagnetic energy is a pulsing electromagnetic field traveling through space. We've seen that the frequency, the number of waves per second, is the only difference among these groups. electromagnetic energy to communicate, to warm our homes, to see, to keep healthy, to learn about the world. We know that every star, including our sun, radiates electromagnetic energy. But are there frequencies beyond the ends of the known spectrum? We have only begun to understand and use this energy that travels through space.